All right, guys, welcome to the Crooked Father. Turn it up. Hey guys, it's Mystic with another horror game called the Crooked Father. Wait, no. This is the Crooked Man. Yeah, it's the Crooked Man. Whoops. Anyways, let's start. This game contains sudden surprises and harsh images. The weak of heart and those poor with horror should not play. <laughs> I've played so many horror games by now. This should be not then. The author takes no responsibility for any trouble that arises from playing this game. There was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. He brought a crooked he bought a crooked cat, which bought a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in the a little crooked house. I remember this poem. Paul. Phew, finally things look a little tidy in here. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh, nice. Three of us could go out drinking. Wait, so one of them is a man? Which one is it? That one with the blue long hair? Hey, I look forward to it already. I look... Well, we'd better be going. Got it. Be careful, you two. Oh, wait, no, Marion is the girl. Marion's the girl name? Oh, well. Alright. So let's look around my new house, I guess? A sink. Another sink. No, it's actually just one thing. Sink, but not. a stove. Nothing. Fridge. What's in here? Cupboards. Still cupboards. An old TV. There's a large crack in the wall. A box of tissues. A phone. An empty trash can. Who was this? Huh? Jeez, Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. Okay. I got Paul's license. Let's try and go give it to him. Uh, huh? I hear someone? What's that tree? Seriously? It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace. No, not. Oh, am here? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know? He can't even afford much furniture. Besides, you told me to look for a place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. You're being talked about. I know. Look. I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. The talking gets distant. The license can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. Okay. So, I'm not going outside. Who's calling now? At my time that I want to sleep. Hold on. I'm... Hello? Hello, who is this? Shirley? Okay. I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in a new place. Yeah, you should. Oh, it, there we go. Man, I'm tired. Uh, 
Uh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. I really don't hear any crying. Okay, never mind, I hear it. Is it one of my neighbors? Hold on. I have to go complain. Really, you're gonna go complain? You're gonna complain about this? Some people have problems, you know? Where is it? Is it this room? Oh, this is my own place still. Okay. Is this one? Okay. Huh. Uh... Go on. Yes. Who is it at this hour? Pardon me. It's just I can hear you from my room. Even it's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. That's a true thing, actually. <laughs> Why did I come all the way here? I should have just done the 911 next to me. Anyways. Uh, I guess so. so. Sorry for waking up. Oh, bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. Most, more importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Well, whatever, I better get back to sleep. But there's no one in these ones? Okay then. The water is running. There we go. Huh? Under the bed. Under the bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. Okay, let's check under the bed then. No, don't go to sleep. Under the bed. Yeah, under the bed. What's down there? I don't know. We'll check. Hmm. Found something. Got a scrap from a notebook. Okay. Ever since she went away, I spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll get to bed. Sound still. Where is that coming from? Give me a break. I need to sleep. I don't know, man. Ah, the phone. What's up, phone? What? Hello? Uh, yeah, thanks for all the... No, no... Uh, where's the plug? No, no, I didn't mean. Just, I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept into noon. I better go.
so much for taking it easy. All right. So, oh, hey, Paul. Paul, right? Yeah, Paul. Paul, what is it? Yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, well, yeah, this. Sorry, I was gonna bring it to you, but... Phew, thanks. So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh, yeah, Paul. Did you write something in the bathroom mirror? Uh-huh. Right on the mirror? What kind of childish brash do you- <laughs> Brash, wow. What kind of childish brat do you take me for, David? Sorry, I didn't mean to take- I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. Okay. No need to go in there. No need to go in there. Okay, let's go. Just go. Okay. Mom? It's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh. My. If it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. Good. You look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, so I moved to this great room, with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite uh, cake shop too. So when you get better, we can live here, there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not your Timmy. I'm not Timmy, I'm your son, David, remember? Oh yes, they opened a bakery the other day, it smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom? Oh, who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? <laughs> who are you? Say something, will you? Mom? Get out! I'll have you thrown out. Somebody, somebody! There's a strange man in my room. Get rid of him. Now! Mrs. Hoover? Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please, go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me. It's away. Now, calm down, Miss. Let's get you to bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? B Mom? Your flight school exams are coming up, Barn. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be here alone. Davy, please? Mom! Me, remember? Mom? David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But, but, but she said my... I said leave. <laughs> Mrs. Hoover, please, calm down. Bring the sedatives! Okay. Do, do, do. Oh, hello, hello, hello. 
Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yeah, she's forgotten many things. She's having trouble remember controlling her emotions. I ask you to be, I ask you to be patient. She may well get she may well get better so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. Okay, let's go back in my room. It's the second one, right? What was that? Anything here? Not many clothes inside. Computer? What did you do? Ah, chair? Oh wait, my chair moved. What the hell? Chair? Wait, was my chair always there? Was it always beside this garbage can? What? Why would I want to sit in front of a garbage can instead of in front of a computer table? What? That's weird. Oh, now you say when I go in front of this thing, when I go on the side of the desk and it's like, Did I move that chair? Hmm, there's something in the drawer. I got a leaflet for school. Okay. Looks pretty old. Hmm, these LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? Oh my. I guess this must be the former tenant. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Can I move the chair though? Okay. Let's go take a bath. No? No? Fine, let's go to sleep. Can I sleep tonight? <sighs> Shut the phone up. Shut the phone up. Hello? Hey, David. How are you doing? <laughs> you just saw me yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're very lonely, okay? By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... I'm sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need to... I don't need her to worry. She just... She should just look out for herself. Alright. Well, I'll hang up now. Alright, see you. Da -da -da. Do I go to sleep now? Oh, it's the next morning? Oh, you're reading. Okay. Yeah, go to bed. That's a good idea. That's always a good idea. That sounds like the TV. TV? Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Sink? What? This is creepy. Did it, did it say sink? What was that? Uh, I am ready for stuff to happen. Another scrap piece of paper. There's a scrap piece of paper under here. Okay. Another scrap of paper. There was a crooked man who walked a crooked mile. Okay. There was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. He found a sixpence against. Uh, he found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all live together in a little crooked house. Isn't this some other ghost rhyme? Why is this under the sink? I guess the previous tenant... This is so strange. I should just sleep and forget about it. Yeah, mother ghost rhyme. My childhood. 
Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Mar Mal and Marion's help, but... Just go to sleep. You think too much. Is that a kid I hear? What kid would live in these beat up apartments? Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Okay. What are you gonna check now? You gonna go here? Then you gonna go out here? Of course there's no kids here, must be getting tired. Yes, go to sleep, man. What was the sound? Ah, <laughs> whatever. Just go to sleep, man. Go to sleep, please. Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Yeah, wait, 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 what? Help me. The coffee says you gotta be. This room is really strange with its voices and TVs turned on. What is this? I don't know, just go to sleep. Wait, I pick up the phone or the phone's ringing? Uh, hi, Paul? It's David. Yeah, what's up, man? You sound so sleepy, ha huh, ha. Huh? Uh, well, I was up all, night, all last night. I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You ask the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like you forgot a lot of stuff. But I'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. The landlady's on the far end on the first floor. I gotta see what she knows. I mean, I'll go see what she knows. Okay. So, this is the. the, the okay, stairs. Alright, far and of uh, Oh wait, the, this one? Hello! Hey, what's Mr. David? What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just want to ask you something. You see... About the room I'm in, can you tell me anything about the person who used to live here? Hmm, well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left a month ago, said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know where he went. I'd never heard that, no. Really just have been left out of the blue. Ah, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants if you'd like. No, no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks, I'll see you around. Alright. Sorry I wasn't very useful. A man about my age. I can only wonder. Oh well, I'll get back to my room. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. Back to my room, back to my room, back to my room. There are flippin' dirt. The okay, what the heck? Why in this crack? Why are there? Why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Yes, they do. Is there something in this crack? Check. Go inside. Oh, I got a brass key. Okay. The key is pretty fancy. I doubt it. For anything in here, so I wonder where. The 
guy's voice, the kids' voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. Uh, it's like a Paul Perrigis or something. But I would have thought that. I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I'd care if there were ghosts here. I wouldn't much care if they haunted me and killed me either. But I wonder about that scrap piece of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. Okay, good idea. No, no, not that's not calling it a day. That's going outside. Okay, what now? Why? Where is it coming from? Is it... Swam inside the house? Uh, let's check. Let's check this way first. Alright. Coming from here. And now the chair is over here. What the hell? What's over here? Really? It came from the closet? I just wanted to check what was in the closet. Okay, fine. Aha! Uh -huh. It came from in... Here! Radio? What's... Why is this in my closet? Not to mention turning on by itself. Hmm? There's something on this paper here. It's an address? Our special place. Where is that supposed to be? I got a paper with an address. Anything on that? Hold on. Save. <laughs> I need to save more often. Okay, let's go. What? I'm... I'm waiting for you? What? Why did... How? And when did it? What? <laughs> so, did you sleep well last night? Oh, sorry I had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Ah, <laughs> wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But, hey... Did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. I mean, I, mean, I felt like intruding into a newlywed's love nest. Hey, why you? <laughs> Just kidding. Seriously though, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. Alright. <laughs> I'm glad to have a buddy who looks out for his friends. Hey. You making fun of me? Oh yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley stuff, but I told her off for that. Don't worry, it's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, alright? I know you've got your mother to look after. But I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I just... I'm just some clerk with the mom in the hospital and the girl I want to marry ran away from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. 
I'll keep up that moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. <laughs> well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know? Ooh, great idea. Where are you going? Somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet! In the postcard! Breakfast ready, Paul. David, will you be eating too? Nah, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Aw, that's too bad. Come by anytime you like. There! Looks like this address is in the mountains. About a five hours drive. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something? Hell, I'll go right now. Can't stand this place anyway. Prologue. David's room. End. Well, see you guys the next episode.